Hi, everybody. I'm Monica Herrera Damashek from Spotify. I'm so excited to be here with you all virtually. Um, wish we could be face to face, um, but really grateful to have the time to connect with you all here and tell you a little bit about where Spotify is today. I am currently the head of US Latin Artists and Label Partnerships at Spotify. Um, I've been with the company for almost six years and a part of the Latin music team for almost three years. So i um, really excited again to connect with you all. Before we start, I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge the unprecedented and incredibly tough time that we're in um, with the COVID-19 crisis. Um, it's really an incredibly difficult time, especially for independent creators. Um, and we're very aware that many sources of revenue are compromised at the moment. Um, so at Spotify, we've been working with a growing list of organizations and really working to offer financial relief to creators around the world. This list has been growing by the week, uh, very happy to say, and you can check out um, the website that's linked here below um, just to find out any more information about the resources that you can tap into. And here's a couple more of the organizations. Um, so for this agenda, I'm just gonna go into where we are today, um, some of the products that are available for artists to leverage, specifically Spotify for artists, a little bit about our playlists, additional tools um, and resources if you wanna dive in further. So just going into uh, where we are today, at Spotify, we have a very ambitious mission. Um, it's one that we're really proud of to unlock the potential of human creativity by giving a million creative artists the opportunity to live off their art and billions of fans the opportunity to enjoy and be inspired by it. Um, we really believe wholeheartedly in this and in the fact that if we can reach more and more fans around the world and provide artists and creators with the right tools, um, that we can realize this unprecedented potential. And just a little bit about the numbers um, for us at the moment, we have 286 million um, monthly active users, about 130 million of those are subscribing and we are live in 79 markets, uh, most recently India. And Moving into um, some of the tools that we offer, I'm going to deep dive into Spotify for artists and how you can really use that to manage your profile, build a following, um, and start to get more insights about how fans are listening to your music. And some of you may already be familiar with Spotify for artists. Um, hopefully this will serve as a little bit of a refresher. And if you're not, um, definitely highly encourage you to, um, you know, listen in on the information I'm about to give you and then um, dive in further after this workshop. The first step to real, really unlocking the potential of this is to just get your profile verified. Um, and it's super easy. Um, if you go to Spotify for artists, um, you can make that request. You can get verified really easily. And then you can add members of your team. Um, if you have management uh, or tour manager, or really anyone that, that you're working with that you want to um, be managing your profile with you, you can request that access. Um, and knowing that really your image is the main way that um, a fan might interact with you for the first time, if they're coming across your profile, and kind of learning more about you, we really make it easy for you to manage these images. You can update your avatar, your header image, and your image gallery at any time via Spotify for Artists. You can write a bio. Um, again, this is um, pretty straightforward, but we really encourage artists to do this and sort of put it in their own words. You can include any links that you want here to your own music or to other artists um, that you identify yourself with. Um, and this way, not just fans, but promoters or anyone else who's interested in checking you out can come across this along with um, some of your key artist stats and imagery. We make it really easy now for you to add social links. So all of um, these channels that you see right here, you can add links for. You can also share tour dates, um, which will be much more relevant once the COVID-19 crisis passes. Um, but typically, this is integrated with all of our ticketing platforms. Um, and if it's not, you can find info on, on how to manually add that via Spotify for Artists. Um, and eventually, you can 
begin to add these dates again um, once you're gigging, hopefully sooner than later. You can also sell merch straight from your artist page, um, which is a really great tool again now since um, it's not possible to do so at shows. Um, but you can add vinyl, um, t shirts, etc. We have a partnership with Merch Bar that enables this. Um, and in every market, at the very least, um, selling vinyl should be available. One thing I want to um, stay with here for a second is the follow button. This is this magical button um, that we really encourage you all to engage with, to encourage anyone who's listening to you or who's following you on other channels um, to use. Um, you can have 100 monthly listeners and one follower. And that one follower is probably um, the most valuable um, you know, asset that you have because it's really converting them from listeners into fans. Um, and it unlocks all of these other things which I'll go through now. Um, we regularly send out alerts about new releases and concert emails to followers, um, to people who we think might be interested in engaging with your music. If you are a follower, you're much more likely, of course, to receive these types of notifications and re-engage. So um, this is just one thing that the follow button unlocks. And another example is algorithmic playlists like Release Radar and Discover Weekly. These lists really serve music that we think fans might find relevant. And of course, if your fans are following you, again, they're just much more likely to receive this music, to know that you have new music coming out and to engage with it. Another tool that you can leverage, um, which I think is pretty underutilized and I really encourage artists to do it, is uh, curating your own artist playlist. So it's just a really organic way to create your own content, to personalize your profile. Um, you can include your own music, of course, but also just the music that you like and the artists that inspire you. So you can see here an example with Sotomayor and Friends, um, and of course Diplo and Lil Mix. So just again, some examples about how you can do this and it's um, all available through the tool. And artist pick. Um, so you can use this again to personalize your page. Um, you can pick any track that you're featured on or a new track of yours, um, a new playlist or a new album. Um, and really just use this to kind of highlight it and surface it in a much more prominent way on your artist page. And recently we've um, released the artist fundraising pick feature so that you can highlight a fundraising destination. Um, you can add a link to Cash App, GoFundMe or PayPal and raise money for yourself, for your crew or for any charity of your choosing. And this is becoming um, more and more widely available in the coming weeks. Um, it goes without saying that social is a great way to engage with your fans. And obviously we encourage you um, to use those channels to point back to Spotify to make sure that your fans know where to stream you and where to find the music. Um, Want to also call out that it's really easy to share your new music from Spotify to those channels, in particular um, Instagram stories, Snapchat, and Facebook stories. Um, and that just creates this direct link so that fans can go right to the music. Another great tool that I love to shout out is Spotify Codes. Um, this is a great way for you to share anything, really your artist page, your music, or playlist. If you go to this website and plug in the URI for any of those things, it will pull up this custom code that you see at the bottom right of this image. Um, and that makes it really easy to download that image and plug it in really anywhere you like in any digital advertising, um, on merch, really anywhere um, you want to share this code. And then any fan who's in the search function of the Spotify app can see a camera to the right of that search bar and use that um, to scan this code and get right to the music or to the playlist or to your arts page. Here's an example of that. Um, so we won't do this in real time, obviously, but if you use this um, and use the Spotify app to scan the code, it will take you to a playlist that we have called Fem that we love that highlights um, female Latinx artists who are kind of playing by their own rules right now. Um, so just a quick chance to test that out. And of course, if you are on Spotify for Artists, um, you have access to a wide range of insights and data. 
um, the age and the gender that your fans identify with, their demographics, um, any related artists, your top playlists, where your fans are listening, um, all disposed here. Um, and of course, this very sticky feature um, that we all love, which is your real time uh, listener account. So this counts the track level for the first seven days after new release. And again, it updates in real time. So you can stare at this for as long as you like. Um, and of course, you can track your progress. So at this, um, at the right section of this screenshot, you can see your accounts this week in terms of listener streams, followers, your trending songs, your top playlists, and it just makes it super easy to track all of that. And these are a couple of um, features that I want to touch on that we're currently testing. One is Canvas. Um, it's a really beautiful format for expressing yourself with visuals on Spotify. It's essentially an eight second um, visual loop that you can plug in to basically be featured alongside your track. Um, it's just another way to kind of engage fans as they're listening. And again, this is currently in the beta phase. I'm really excited to roll this out more widely. You can share canvases if you're a part of this beta to your IG stories and it makes it just, you know, just a much more dynamic piece of content. Here's an example of that. And Storylines, another feature that we're really excited about it. It's basically digital liner notes. So for those of you who remember wonderful liner notes, um, really gives artists a space to share the stories and the inspiration behind the songs, why they wrote the lyrics that they did. Um, really dynamic. And again, this is in the pilot phase, but we are exploring more and more features like this and super excited to roll them out. One thing that I do want to touch on here is this golden rule, as we call it, about music parody. Um, we do encourage that all content be available across Spotify and all other services simultaneously. It just makes the listening experience for your fans that much more seamless if it's available in one place and it's available everywhere else. So we really try to encourage artists, you know, not to break, break that um, loop and to release content to, to all platforms simultaneously. I'll touch on Spotify playlists now. Um, there's basically three types of playlists, which I'll go into. Um, but first, a little bit about our editorial philosophy, which is really best summed up by our two goals as a music team. Um, editorially, we want to create the best possible audio experience for listeners. And really just what this means is that our fans are top of mind um, when it comes to this goal. And we just want to make sure that they're getting um, the most out of what they came for when they when they check out Spotify and when they come to discover new music or podcast or audio content. And the second is to be the best partner in the world to creatives and the creative industry. Um, this is really led by the artists and label partnerships team. And we just want to be a resource both directly and through, you know, platforms like Spotify for artists and the tools that we provide um, to make sure that artists can fully express themselves and connect with fans. When it comes to playlists, again, it's really all about just curating for that listener and what they like. And we know that no listener is alike. Um, there's all types of fans of genres, of subgenres, um, you know, of no genres at all, just moods, um, really just one vibe. So this is just an example of all of the um, various types of playlists that we currently offer, um, some of which are catered to the Latinx audience in the U.S. And again, just a sample of, of playlists from all over the world. Um, there are thousands of them, but the principle is always the same. Um, it's made for the listener. The second kind of playlist is an editorial personalized playlist. Um, really just kind of marrying the ability to understand users through curation um, and machine learning and just trying to curate a much larger set of songs to surface relevant music um, to listeners. And so these are some examples of the playlists that are editorially personalized. Not every um, song will be featured on a playlist like this, even if they are um, a part of the song set that is a part of that curation process. But um, artists and labels can have access via Spotify for Artists to a unique link for the personalized playlists that are included on. So if you share a link to a playlist like this, your song will appear at the top of that playlist for 24 hours. 
And the third type is algorithmic playlists. Um, so these are fully machine learning driven. Again, if your fans are following you, um, they have a much likelier chance of receiving your music via these playlists. Um, these are just some examples. Um, Discover Weekly is just personalized recommendations. Release Radar is similar, but focused on new releases. Daily Drive combines music and podcasts. Um, it's really optimized for the commute experience. And Daily Mix, which is personalized radio stations based on the artists that you're listening to most frequently. Here's some other examples. And of course, if you're releasing new music, um, the number one thing we encourage you to do is to pitch that music for playlist consideration if your goal is to um, be considered for editorial placement. You can do so via Spotify for Artists. Very easy to submit a song. We encourage you to fill out as many of these tags that you see here as possible, whether that's you know, what instruments are on the song, um, you can even tag a culture, so you can tag Latin culture, you can tag by language, mood and moment, etc. Um, and the more you do so, the more kind of context you're providing for the editorial team. There's also an open field where you can add notes. And for that, you know, we encourage you to share a little bit about why you made the music, um, who you've collaborated with, perhaps, you know, why it's relevant for consideration and, and anything that you care to share in that more open field. Here's a little bit more on that. Um, again, the more information, the better. And we're really happy to say that um, over 72,000 artists have been added to a playlist for the first time since the launch of our playlist pitch tool. So it really does work. Um, and we really do do our best to listen to every single song that's submitted through this tool. And happy to say that um, we are surfacing more music than ever through playlists in this way. Um, one other thing I do want to call out is you cannot buy playlist placement. There are so many playlists um, that we offer that are made with the listener in mind. If anyone offers a pay for play, it is a scam. Um, so we just do want to mention that as part of these workshops. And then just a little bit more about artist tools. Um, so we've got two here that we want to share. One is Soundtrap. Um, it's basically a popular, very easy to use um, music and podcast studio that's collaborative. So you can connect with other creators and you can work on the same song or podcast in real time using any of your devices. And you can just um, look up soundtrap.com to access that. And Sound Better. Um, this is essentially a marketplace for production talent, whether you're an engineer, singer, songwriter, producer, um, a studio musician, you can securely hire um, or be hired by music production pros. Um, and it includes dozens of Grammy winners and thousands of pros who've worked on hit records available for direct hire. And these are just two tools that we really want to call out um, always, but especially in these times when, you know, in-person collaboration is limited. Here's a little bit more about that. Um, and just a couple of other resources through Spotify for Artists. Um, the Game Plan. This is a video franchise that you can watch on Spotify for Artists where we've got different people sharing how they navigate the music world, everything from using the tools um, directly on Spotify for Artists to just more broadly how they plan their strategies um, to grow and engage with fans. Um, love this franchise, encourage you to watch. And another one that we have called Best Advice. Um, which is different artists sharing the best advice that they've ever gotten. And you can see Lizzo here um, has some tips. So it's definitely a fun watch. Um, and just finally, a couple of last thoughts for you all. Um, again, encourage you guys to claim your Spotify for Artists profile. If you haven't um, been deeply diving into Spotify for Artists recently, hopefully some of this helped. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure you guys might want to spend more time with it after this. So there's an FAQ there that's incredibly broad um, and it's very easy to navigate. So I encourage you guys to check that out if you have any additional questions. Um, you can also sign up for a monthly newsletter and check out the blog there. And of course you can follow us on socials, not just Spotify, but Spotify for Artists, which has much more information um, tailored directly for the creator industry. So again, really happy to be able to share all of this information with you all. I'm just going to 
turn my screen share off so I can see everybody. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, for listening. Um, hope this was helpful and look forward to seeing you all again next year, if not sooner, um, at the LAMC. Mil gracias. Abrazos.